Minfilia, am I right? None other. I bid you welcome to Revenant's Toll, and thank you for traveling so far on such short notice. <laughs> As if I could ever say no to Urianje. Moonbreeder is an accomplished Charlian scholar, and an authority on Aetherite technologies. She has played an invaluable role in our search for a means to capture Arsian souls. Charmed, I'm sure. Sister. A joyous reunion indeed. Well, of course it is. Moon and I are like twin sisters. Save in appearance and aptitude. Everyone, if I could have your attention. We have with us an esteemed guest who has come from Shalian to assist us. I bid Moonbreeder join us here that she might share with us her extensive knowledge of Aetherites. Also, as many of you are already aware, she has been overseeing our research into White Aurasite, a sample of which she has been good enough to bring with her. Well, I had to come, didn't I? You'd have to be bloody daft to turn your nose up at a chance like this. Where better to conduct my final tests than a land so steep in ether you can taste it? Tis plain the passage of the years hath done little to dampen thy youthful spirits. And nothing at all to reform thy youthful manner. Where in the hells have you been hiding? Uh, unhand me. I can't 
come all this way, and that's what you have to say to me. I much preferred when you were pleading with me to drop everything and hurry to your side. What was it you said? None save thee can satisfy this need. Go on. Thine artless attempts to misrepresent mine all too innocent motives do thee little credit. <clears throat> mine intent, as well thou knowest, was but to impress upon thee the gravity of the circumstance. Lest thou doubt, a deiform entity shall shortly be summoned, save if thou and no other grantest my compeers thine aid. You still haven't found it, then? You're missing Aetherite. We have not. No. We know that Iceheart teleported to an Aetherite not far from the first. Yet even after careful analysis, we could not locate the second beacon. We now suspect that the heretics destroyed the second Aetherite to impede our pursuit. Our allies continue to scour Snowcloak for Iceheart's sanctuary, but we have no guarantee that they will find it. Yet it must be found. For even now, Iceheart prepares to call upon Saint Shiva. I'm sorry, but if the Aetherite's been destroyed, then that's that. Although, you're absolutely sure she used the first Aetherite, are you? She didn't just use teleportation magics? One of our own bore witness to her escape. I can say with absolute certainty that Iceheart used the Aetherite. In that case, there might be a way, so long as the ethereal current is still flowing. Truly? How? We use the current to recreate the beacon. As you know, etherites are a bit like lighthouses. We use them to reconstitute our physical forms when crossing the ethereal sea. Without them, we'd lose all sense of direction and our essence would dissipate. However, we don't rely solely on these beacons. There are currents of ether which flow between them, currents which help guide us to our destination. Now, these currents will gradually dwindle away to nothing if an etherite is destroyed. But, if even a sluggish flow remains, we could theoretically use it to direct a surge of concentrated ether towards the void left by the beacon, and thereby fill it up again. Like opening the floodgates to fill a dry riverbed. Though, correct me if I'm wrong, but would we not need a veritable reservoir of ether? In concert, we might manage to channel a sufficient volume, yet that is not my chief concern. To direct the flow of so great a volume of ether with the requisite precision would be a nigh-impossible task in itself. I barely succeeded in facilitating travel to an unattuned beacon. That which you describe sounds considerably more difficult. And dangerous! Every person who has attempted to teleport in this fashion has died in the process. They, however, did not have white aura sight at their disposal. I can use it to channel all the ether you can give me into the etherite. However, White Aurasite cannot retain ether for an extended period of time, so we would need to infuse it immediately beforehand. Just so you know, I'd confidently give this plan better than even odds of success. And if the worst comes to worst, your people won't suffer. Though it risks the lives of our best and brightest, we have not the time to seek other options. If the ethereal current still flows, we shall carry out Moonbreeder's plan. That's the spirit. Let's roll the dice. 